particular club that's owned by the fans and you were actually there unbeknown to a lot of people on the day that it actually happened yeah, I wasn't there it was one to forget for us uh, you know we got whitewashed that day it was a uh, you know the, as I say it was a sellout and you know I'll never that was a it was a it was a bad day for us but uh, the atmosphere that day was pretty special I remember that they finally got taken over and uh, you know, right away, you know, they were going down to League Two, but as you say, you just expected them to come straight back up with, with all the expectations of the fans and everything was done right. And, you know, we're still talking now, we're in this division two years later, so let's uh, put it right and, and kick on now. And you're looking over a new training ground, do you see a new era for Portsmouth Football Club? Yeah, as I say, it's, it obviously is with all the players that have been brought in, a lot of changes. I think people are really excited by, by everything from the start with the manager being brought in to to all the players like um, that have been brought in from a higher division so I think it, as you say the training ground well, it's a different class and when it's finished it's going to be uh, it's going to be as good as there is, anything is out there so again it's just I think it'll only benefit the club in, in the long term future with attracting players and things like that when, when they come and see the facilities here they're second to none so again all these type of things go a long way to attracting people towards the club uh-huh.